What's poppin', what's poppin', what's poppin'? Welcome to the Introvert Rockstars Podcast. I'm not giving advice on life. I'm trying to figure this stuff out too. What's poppin'? What's poppin'? What's poppin'? How y'all been, man? How have y'all been? Ain't this world... Don't this world seem crazy now? (laughs) Don't this world seem crazy now, man? You know? We got... I'm gonna talk about a lot of stuff that's going on uh, today, you know? And I'm gonna start doing these podcasts like once a week. I'm just going to make it like at least close to an hour or hour, you know, and I might get longer as I go. But I'm going to just I'm going to just do one every week. What day is today is Wednesday. I'm going to do it every Wednesday. That that should be cool. I'm going to do it every Wednesday, you know, because like I say, those days of posting every day. I ain't going to cap, bro. I'll be I'll be too busy. And that, that ain't happening these days. So I'd rather just do it every Wednesday, you know, so. Man, I hope y'all been doing good. I hope uh I hope y'all been advancing in y'all life. And if you're not, look, don't give up, bro. Trust me, don't give up. Like when you hit rock bottom, that's that's really the best time. Can't nobody ask you to borrow no money. Can't nobody ask you for nothing. You ain't got nothing. So all you gotta do is start getting something. Piece by piece by piece. That's it. That's it. And I'm going to tell y'all a lot about that, about the money situation, about, about everything that I'm learning in life, man. You know, my birthday next week. And it's just crazy how I was once this guy. Now I'm this guy mentally. But we're going to talk about all that. Um, but let's first get into this, man. Valentine's Day. I don't know when it's coming out. This might come out tonight. Late on tonight or in the morning, whenever y'all see it. But right now it's Valentine's Day. So this is what I'm learning, bro. <clears throat> you got your women that deserve it. You know, you got your women that, you know, you get them something, stuff like that. And also, if she deserve it nine times out of ten, she gonna get you something. See, that's where a lot of men need to start experiencing. Like women that were actually get you gifts without you asking because they know what you like it's out there bro but you first gotta start loving yourself and that don't mean you got money that don't mean nothing it's plenty of dudes who don't have nothing (laughs) and it's women just buying them things buying them stuff because they love themselves and you might say oh they don't love themselves they're not getting money money got nothing to do with it Money got nothing to do with it. You got to just start loving yourself. You got flaws. You got imperfections. You got bad habits. Okay, cool. That's the whole world. Sometimes you got to embrace who you are. To get over a bad habit, you got to admit that. You got to embrace that shit. That's the only way you can really get through it. You know, and I'm going to talk about tricking because that's that's a real serious deal in this time. And I know how it go. You see a bad chick on Instagram. You see a bad chick on TikTok. A lot of times, you don't know how to talk to them. So you just say, look, I give you this. You give me that. Bam. But I'm telling you, in the long run, you don't want to keep living life like that. Yeah, it's easy. But you don't want to keep going through that. You want to actually experience women who actually check on you. I always talk about that. I always talk about women who check on you. That shit, it just hits different when a woman call you. She don't want nothing from you. 
She's not trying to angle you. She's not trying to figure out what you're doing or, or cause an argument. She's just checking on you. Bro, that, that hit is different. You want to experience that. And I know it might be some dudes who still tricking. Like, you still got some chicks. If they hit you up, ask you for some money, you go send it to them. Look, do me this favor. And I ain't saying nothing wrong with it. Look, do what you do. It's your money. You know, I ain't saying nothing wrong with it. But this you do. Take one year. Take one year and devote it to yourself. Take one year when all your money belongs to you. And I know it's going to be hard to say no. It's hard to say no because that chick going to ask for it and you're going to have flashbacks. You're going to start getting flashbacks of when you used to hit her from the back. When she used to, when y'all used to do it outside. Y'all used to do it in the car. Like, I'm telling you, I know these things. <laughs> You gonna start having flashbacks when she talking to you. You know that's the manipulation because they know they know our weakness, man. Women know our weakness. That's why I say they turn to the pimps and we turn to the simps. So you gotta take one year and keep your money for you. All your money is for you. I don't care how complicated it get, how hard it gets. Look, your money belongs to you at least one year. Do that for at least one year. All your checks you get, look, you spend your checks on whatever you need and you and you saving the rest. Are you investing in whatever you like to invest in? And I don't, I'm not the type to tell you invest in stocks and bonds. Look, me, I'm a type. I'm going to invest in old school classic cars. I'm getting me some camera, uh, some cameras, Nikon. Like, I'm... I invest in what I want to invest in. And I say invest in yourself. You know, that's that's just very important, man, to keep at least a year. Keep your money to you. Even that little $40 you get this little chick to, to come do whatever, that little $80, that little 200 that you got this little chick. Because, bro, most dudes got a chick that they're giving money to just to meet up. Everybody got that guaranteed chick that you can just get. Look, here you go. Everybody, you might got two, three, four of them. That's that's how it is these days. But that's what I'm telling you. Because I'm going to tell you this way here. <clears throat> I'm going to tell you this. Do you ever wonder when they hit you up, they never ask you how you doing? They never ask you how your day going? If they ask you, it's for something. I want y'all to start experiencing women who don't want nothing from you. I want you to start experiencing women who want to actually give to you. It's out there, bro. <laughs> like them old dudes say, no. <laughs> bro, I was watching that video of uh of Jacquees and uh Trey Songs when they got in that when they got in that fight. <laughs> Bro, you know, you know a dude mad when he say brother. <laughs> he say you a bitch, brother. <laughs> look, my brother, look. Keep your money to yourself for at least a year. You gonna feel good. You gonna feel good telling that baddie no. You gonna feel good telling her no. Because you wanna start, you wanna start like re- Reprogramming your mind. Okay, I'm only gonna deal with women. Man, I had no sin everything. I ain't worried about that no more. But look, you want to start reprogramming your mind to only deal with women that's deeply into you. That's really into you. <clears throat> Not women that's trying to take from you. You don't yeah. Yeah, that's the easy way out, but you don't want to take the easy way out when it comes to women, bro. You don't want to take that easy way out because the longer you go, it's going to be hard to kill that habit. And if you if you don't have a strong mind, you ain't going to do it. you going to stay doing it for the rest of your life, tricking for the rest of your life. You don't reward women who not doing nothing for your life. You don't reward women who not checking on you daily. You don't reward women who not doing anything for your life. You don't do that. She caused a drama in your life. Cut her off. And now I was going to talk about this later, but I got to talk about it right now. 
these things you do, man. <clears throat> Every woman that's not contributing to your life, that's not adding value to your life, cut them off. I don't care how fine she is. I don't care how bad she is. I don't care how good she ride it. I don't care how good she suck it. I don't give a damn. Cut her off. Because if you don't, if you don't, you will keep getting treated how you're getting treated. You will keep getting treated like a trick. No respect. And that means you don't have no self-respect for yourself. You don't have no self-respect for yourself. So I think, I think once men start having self-respect, bro, and maybe it comes with time. You know, like I say, I'll be 34 next week. So maybe that comes with time. But I'm just telling y'all ahead of time so y'all can, you know, try it out. But maybe it comes with like living and, and uh, doing certain things and maybe it comes with time. I don't know. But I'm just letting y'all know, man, it feels better when you can keep your whole paycheck. It feels better when you got money coming over over here. You can still keep your money. How many times you done had you done got paid on a Tuesday and by Friday you dead broke? But you dead broke because of the stupid, like some stupid decision that you made. And you just mad at yourself. You just pissed off. You like, damn, man. I just had some money. I ain't had to do this. But you you got certain addictions. You got certain addictions that that take over your soul. You know? And then <clears throat> You got to, when you give into those addictions, you got to sit there and realize how you feel. You feel stupid. You feel dumb. You got to keep remembering that. So you don't keep going back to that feeling. You know, but man, Valentine's Day, bro. Like I say, some girls, they deserve it. Some girls, they deserve it. Like some girls, they they, they just know, they know how to treat you. They make life better. You, you can call, talk to them. They make life better, but for the most part, man, don't be out here rewarding these chicks for for nothing. Them days is over. Them days is over. Men go through too much to just be giving themselves away like our grandparents, like our grandfathers. That's that shit dead. Yeah, they had good wives that stayed at home and cooked and stuff like that, but these days, bro, most men not getting no kind of treatment. Most men never really had a woman that cooked for them. A woman that actually cooked for them. A lot of men never really experienced it. But like women in their family, their mom and stuff like that, their sisters. So men gotta want you you have to want better for yourself. And I know that song I preach, I hate preaching, bro, because that shit. By, by Saturday, niggas will be on Demon Time <laughs> doing the same shit. But the niggas that's listening, man, look, I'm telling you, don't be a trick, bro. Don't don't go down that route. Don't go down that route. It's, it's the easy route, but it's not worth it. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. You go look at your phone one day, you be like, damn. I don't have no, I don't have no chicks that really care about me. They, they always hit me up for money. Cut them off. Cut them all off, dog. I'm telling you. But we'll come back to that. We'll come back to that. But I want to talk about that Usher and Alicia Keys situation, bro. I saw I saw a lot of people saying that, oh, Swiss Beat said he's not mad. He's not. Look, bro, that's, that shit goofy. That's how you know a woman don't respect the dude, bro. When a woman respect you, I got always say it has nothing to do about money. It got nothing to do about money. I bet you can take Swiss Beats and Alicia Keys, and you could take, um, let's say, a Mexican that uh, you know, like those Mexicans that uh, do construction work and stuff like that. I bet you that Mexican family, like that that wife, respect her husband more. She respect him more. And he has, you could say he has less, he's had less money. Like I always say, money don't, it, it, it don't mean nothing. <laughs> a lot of times, look, man, 
Y'all know this. A lot of times dudes with the money, they girls still go for a dude with no like it 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 don't matter. It it doesn't matter. It's all about the man, bro. If she respected him, she'll never let another dude just wrap wrap his arms around her and she just lay in his arms. Come on, bro. It was a split second when Alicia Keys actually just like rested. In Usher's arm. And then she snapped out of it. I know y'all saw it. It was a split second. When she just rested in his arms. And just closed her. Anytime. Look. I'm, I'm going to tell you this. And I don't know if y'all young dudes heard this before. But I'm going to tell y'all. Anytime you kissing a woman. Anytime you hugging a woman. Anytime you kiss on the cheek. Kiss on the lip. Whatever. If she closed her eyes. Bro. You got her. If she close, if she close her eyes, she's all into it. She's all the way into it. Now I want y'all go back and watch that video with her Usher. For a split second, she closed, she closed them. And Usher, if you look, if you look, Usher looked at. He said, "I got her." <laughs> and look, you know that look. Every dude knows that look when you like uh with another dude girl. Like you know that look. I got her. And and you can go back and you can backtrack. Every woman that Usher was, you know, did something with and it it, it went viral. He always did the same thing. He always had that that look. Usher on demon time, bro. I don't care if your girl famous. It don't matter. When a woman respects you, it's certain stuff a man can't even do. That's why I say before y'all even, before you even try to pursue women, bro, like, start respecting yourself. When you start respecting yourself, when you stop letting chicks slide with anything. For example, <clears throat> this something girls do. You are... Uh, You'll get them, you say, look, hit my number, text me. And then right after that, she'll text you, no, here's my number, text me. After that, cut her off. That's it. That's it. You got to start nipping things in the bud and you got to, like Patrice O'Neill said, be ready to take your ball home. Pick up your ball and go home. And you might go home and cry because she was fine. She looked good. But you still got your, you still got your pride. We got to stop letting women slide with stuff, bro. We got to. <clears throat> I know, I know that cat is powerful. That cat is powerful. Especially when you first slide in it and you ain't had it in a minute. It's powerful. <laughs> And you talking to a dude like me, I be going three, four months. Cause special when special I'm on a grind, bro, and I'm focused on something. And especially with this photography stuff, like photography, trucking, bro, I'm focused on getting money. I'm focused on building. I ain't got time to even have no conversation with a chick. It'll be look, we gotta just do this and I gotta go. So I I know how it is, bro. That's that shit is like it's a drug. It's a drug. And it gets us to doing things that we know we doing the wrong thing, but if we can only get inside that kitty cat. <laughs> if we can only get inside that kitty cat, it'll all be worth it. But I'm telling you, bro. Like I say, this might come with age. I don't know how it is in your 20s if you get this information. This might come with age. But I'm telling y'all, if you if you learn how to put yourself before the kitty cat. My bad. If you learn how to put yourself before the kitty cat, bro. And like I say, even though, even though it might hurt you. <laughs> When you by yourself and you just thinking about all the positions you could have put her in. You still got your pride. You still save some money. You still got your goals, bro. Cause I'm telling you, this how you want it, bro. You you, you don't wanna have to be talking too much to get a girl. You don't wanna have to be doing the most. 
when women like you, and like I say, I'm learning this as I get older, and I've always been through this too. When women like you, bro, they roll out the red carpet for you. They don't care how you dress. They actually they want to dress like you. They want to talk like you. <laughs> you have to, you have to want to experience that. You have to have patience, and that's why I always say this is our next topic. Your purpose. <clears throat> Your purpose in life is so damn important. And I can say this with with confidence. Your purpose is so important, bro. When you have nothing, when life, when you broke, when you got nothing, everything going wrong. You got your purpose. You know what you was you you know what you was put on earth to do. And you can work around that. You can always shake back. That's why I say, that's why I always tell y'all, never give up on yourself in life because you can always shake back from anything, bro. Like I say, once you find that purpose in life, it's going to change everything. It's going to change everything. You know, you no longer go put women over your life because you know your purpose. You know you, you you finally found something that you're naturally good at, but you you know you still have to work on it. But you're naturally good at it, and when you think about it, if you feel love, that's real love. Real love for a man is when he finds his purpose. I'm telling you that. I think about a camera. I look at a camera. It's a camera that I want right now. I'll probably get it uh what like in the next next two months. Because it's expensive as hell And I ain't trying to make no big purchases right now But like in the next two months I'll probably get it. Bro I look at this camera And I want to cry <laughs> And it's hard for me to cry bro Bro I be wanting to cry Because I be like damn this camera is so beautiful Like look at the Look at the curve Look at how like the nozzles are Look at the lens Just look at look, Just look at how perfect it is I be wanting to cry, bro. That's how I know. Like I study, I study photographers that was in the 1940s and 1960s. I study them. I take notes on them. I love that shit. And when I'm not doing it, and I know I'm supposed to be doing it, I feel guilty. And some of you, the uh, the people that found the man that found their purpose in life, you know what I'm talking about. When you're not doing what you know what you're supposed to be doing, you feel guilty. Uh, next weekend, I got a, a wedding. Well, it's not a wedding. It's a, uh, this the engagement shoot that I'm doing. And, bro, I'm so excited. And, look, they don't even know. Because one thing about photography, bro, I'm learning. You want to surprise people. It, they go pay you for this, but you want to give them more than what they pay for so they can always have that experience and that's all i can think about while i'm on the road like i'm so happy i'm so happy because i took a break from it you know to and sometimes breaks sometimes breaks are good man because even though you want to be this sometimes you got to go through things to be that sometimes you got to go through things to be what you want to be to really be that, to really see clearly, you gotta go through things. And I've been through some, sh <laughs> and a lot of times, it was self sabotaging. That's what it was. A lot of times, it was my fault. And once you start taking accountability for your life, man, everything else, everything else better, bro. Can't nobody say nothing about you when you start taking accountability. What can they say? Yeah, it's my fault. I'm going to fix it. But once... See, men think finding a woman is like the greatest. Look, yeah, if you find you run across a good woman, man, that's, that's a great thing. But I'm telling you, when you find your purpose in life, when you find that one thing you're good at, when you find that one thing you can do for free forever, it's going to change your fucking life. It's going to change your fucking life. 
I, I can sit there and edit pictures, bro. I can sit there and edit a picture. And I look I, I, I look at the emotions of the model or like whatever it is. And bro, sometimes I can I can I can cry. <laughs> Y'all like this nigga a bitch. <laughs> But it's just something about photography, man, that that I love. And I had to go through something to get back to that, to get back to this moment, bro, to feel something, bro. I had to go through something. So I always, because finding your purpose is not going to be like, you can't force that. It's going it's gonna to come when it comes. And when it comes, you're going to just realize like, oh, shit. <laughs> It's, it's going to come and it's just going to change your whole way of thinking, man. And you're going to be addicted to it. And you can do it forever for free. I'm telling you, it, I want y'all to keep this in your head. Your purpose is more important than finding some relationship. Because your purpose going to make you a better man for that relationship. So please, man, uh, keep living. Keep living. Yeah, go to work, do all that shit. Go to work, make your money, stuff like that. But still, keep living life. Don't put your don't put yourself in the prison in this world. Cause let me tell you something. I'm keeping it real tonight. I'm keeping it real. You could work all them hours, all that overtime. Guess what? They still taking them taxes out. <laughs> They still taking them taxes out and making it look like you never, you, your work not matching your money. So live, live your life. See, you don't have to always make more money. Sometimes you got to buy less things. Sometimes you got to buy less things. Sometimes you don't need a car note. I'll repeat that again. Sometimes you don't have to make more money. Sometimes you just have to buy less things or know when to buy things. Like I said, y'all, I'm learning this. I'm learning this. So I'm telling y'all why I'm learning. I didn't know this. I recently learned this. So <clears throat> you don't want to be a slave your whole life, your whole life to material things. Okay. Working, working to get this. Get nah, bro. Work, make your money, live your life. Work, make your money, live your life. Cause I'm telling you, a lot of see, you wonder why. Like, and I'm not bragging on myself stuff like that, but I, I actually live life. I never cared about money. I never look. I never worked a full year in my life. I I work like six, seven months, and the rest, I just live life. And I and I always did that without even knowing I did that. You know, I'm not telling y'all do that, but if you can find like seasonal jobs, that's cool. You don't have no kids. Hey, live your life. Do what you do. But I'm telling you, working, living your life is is just as important as working. Because your experiences, that's your real teacher in life. That's your real teacher in life. You know, so. Your purpose is very important, man. It's very important. <clears throat> what else I have in my mind today, man? Ah, what else did I have in my mind? I, I was going to write some notes down, but I said, you know what, man? Forget that. Let me go straight from the dome, bro. Man. They want you to think that the world is ending, but this this been going on for years and years decades and decades they've been they've been doing they've been pumping fear into people pumping fear pump do not live life in fear dog do not live life in fear you know like you you really create your own world out here you know and <clears throat> another thing i want to talk about Let's get back to the um, to the Valentine's Day and the relationship stuff. Because even though I don't like talking about this, I know 99% of the time men think about women. That's that's facts. That's that's just facts. So. Respect yourself, man. 
these women go come and they're gonna go. They're gonna come and they're gonna go. They're gonna stalk you. They're gonna come back. Prayer. Focus on your life. I'm not saying that don't have chicks, but all the chicks you have in your life, they better be checking on you. They better be asking you how your day going. What you doing today? How you feel? What did you eat? Some simple, simple things. The same thing you be asking women. <laughs> you don't want to use all your energy on chasing, chasing, chasing. Nah, you got you got better things to do. You got to find your purpose. You you don't even know what you're good at in life yet. Like you don't even know what you're good at. You you don't know what you love. You you don't even know yourself. So many men get married before they know themselves. Sit back and think. <clears throat> I want you to sit back and think. Yes, I know a lot of men say, "Oh, I, I'm in love. I'm, I'm happy." But I want you to sit back and think. When you watch couples, how many happy couples do you see? How many happy married couples do you see? I, I want you to go through the week and see how do people are are they do they look happy? Because people say they're happy all day. That's another thing I want to talk about. Here we go. That's what I that's what I was waiting on. Happiness, bro. <clears throat> Do not put your happiness on a woman. Do not put your happiness. That's why and this will always come back to your purpose, bro. That purpose you got for your life, that's where your happiness gonna come from, bro. And as a man, really. Our happiness comes from seeing other people happy. Doing things for others. I'm not saying just giving money, but doing things for others. Like making this video. I mean, make, making this podcast, it makes me happy. It makes me happy. And shout out to that boy. Um, I think his Instagram, I mean, his YouTube name is J Rock Up Next. He said, man, we need a podcast. I said, you know what? Let me do this right now. So as soon as he said that, I said, you know what? Let me make this podcast right now. I'm going to do, do it every Wednesday. You know, I'm going to do it every Wednesday. And like I say, man, worry about views. Like those those days are over with, man. Because I think I think social media kind of is like slowly, slowly dying. Like think about it. Like you don't watch as much YouTube as you used to. Now you're probably on TikTok. So now we're probably waiting on something else new to come. It's, it's going to always be something something else. That's why I always say, don't put all your eggs in one basket. Like people just telling you, oh, be a YouTuber. Now you're seeing YouTubers' pays get demonetized. And, you know, they done. Now they got to go back to work. Now they, you know, I'm telling you, you, you can't depend on this, bro. This don't mean you free because you got a YouTube channel. Like, it's still people who control this. They control what you say. You say the wrong thing. Wait, when you black, you don't have to say the wrong thing. They can just say you said something. And and now your pay is demonetized. Now you ain't making no money. Now you got to find energy to make another page. That's dead, bro. Always have other ways to make money. And like I said earlier, you don't have to keep making a lot, a lot of money. Nah, buy less things. Say no to uh, girls who trying to make you pay for it. <laughs> Say no, bro, because I know in this generation, bro, like every young dude I hear talking, bro, that's that that's what it be. Niggas just paying for it now, for real, for real. You know. But like I say, take that one year. Take that one year where all your money is your money. It's going to feel good, bro. It's going to feel good when you don't got to give money to a chick. It's going to feel good when you meet a chick and she giving you money. It's going to feel good when you meet a chick and she doing things for you. And you're going to be like, damn, I got to I gotta watch how I treat t- the chicks now. That's going to make you respect women, bro. And see, that's the thing about us. See, you give women money, certain women money, they not going to respect you. A woman give a man money, shh, we going to be like, yes, ma'am. <laughs> I'm telling you. I'm telling you, bro. This life, man, don't, don't. 
Because a lot of y'all young right now, a lot of y'all 23, 22, 24. Look, you going to be 32 at one time. You're going to be 33. I'm telling you, life is better when you got some money saved up. Life is better when you got some money saved up. That means you're not worried that something happened, you can pay for it. If it, if something happened where it's an emergency, you can pay for it. Life is good when you don't have chicks calling you and getting on your nerves. Life is good when you don't have chicks calling you and making your day bad. Life is life is good. Now, it ain't going to always be perfect, but still, what you can control, you want to control it. Control what you can control. The women you talk to, the women you talk to, you can control that. Because it's like the title, man. Women can make a man weak. <laughs> they can make you weak. And like I said, you got women who can make you strong, who, who can push you. Yeah, I'm not talking about them. But for the most part, women make you weak, man. When you on the grind. Oh, when you coming home. Uh, when you go do this. Look, bro. You gotta build. You gotta build your foundation. You gotta focus on you. Tell me how many chicks focusing on you. Tell me how how many chicks ask you how much you got saved so you can keep saving. Tell me how many chicks worrying about your credit. Tell me how many chicks worrying about if you ate breakfast. Think about that. Shit getting real right now. Think about that. Oh, your car in the shop. Can you call a chick and ask her, look, come pick me up. Uh, my car in the shop. And I'm not saying that's like the mandatory thing to do, like always depend on or, or like uh, backfall on women. I'm not saying that. But if you're talking to all these chicks, it, sh- it, it should be some of them could be, you know, waking up early, to come pick you up or let you borrow their car. And I'm telling you, you, you got to think about that. Sometimes you got to sit back and think about that, you know, so. Yeah, man, I'm probably about to, uh, well, I'm about to take me a shower, uh, cut my hair, do me some laundry. I'm in uh, Chicago right now. And I'm going to tell y'all something, man. I've been I've been trucking for a minute. And I finally fell in love with this. Because I don't see it as trucking. I see it as, oh, when I'm off, I can, I can stay whatever I want to. Oh, I can save up my money. Oh, I can do this. Oh, I call, I call the shots. When I take off, I can decide if I want to stay in New York, if I want to stay in California, if I want to, you know, so that's how I look at this now. And I finally fell in love with this. I finally fell in love with this. And now I see how people say, oh, when you love your job, like life is really I'm not saying I love like yeah the company the company I'm at yeah it's a, like I say it's like every other company <laughs> never fall in love with no company but with what you do yeah you can fall in love with that like ha- having pride like I I finally have pride in trucking I I never I ain't say never but I never really had pride in it like I should have but I have I have pride in it now. You know, so like I say, maybe that come with age, man. But hey, bro, I love it, man. Next next week, I get to see my peoples. Uh, man, like I say, bro, life. When you simplify your life, when you like sit back and think about, okay, in the next five years, this what I have to focus on. That's why I tell myself in the next two years, I got to focus on this, this and this. That's it. In the next two years, that's all I'm focusing on. I'm not saying that's all you're focusing on, but that's that's your main things you're focusing on. That's it, bro. That's it. You know, so like I said, man, I'm going to come back every Wednesday and I'm going to drop these uh these podcasts. But like I say, it, it, it'll get longer and longer. Like, like the next one, I have some notes and, and like some stuff I'm going to talk about. But man, let's get it, bro. Let's get it. Start living your life. Uh, start getting back on your purpose if you know your purpose. Like, start getting back to the things you love in this life, man. And I'm going to leave y'all with this. Hey, bro, stop tricking. I'm out. <laughs>